600 children and 180 women go missing every hour in India. South Asia, with India as its hub, is the fastest growing region for human trafficking today. Trafficking, like any other criminal industry, is demand driven, and most girls who get trafficked don't even know that they can get trafficked. There was an incident which happened way back in my early days when I used to go to the Sundarbans, and I met this lovely girl. She was in a little shop and she was sewing a lovely colorful kurta. She looks up and gives me a really flashing sweet smile and I say hello and we get talking. And during the course of the conversation, um, I just asked her, you know, so how did you get trafficked? But the very mentioning of the incident just froze her and she became stock still. Her eyes widened and became opaque. Her fear is still tangible today. But the one thing which she said when she did start talking to me again was that I didn't know I could get trafficked. There are so many girls like her who don't know they can be trafficked and they're very vulnerable. And that's the chart for you about the money-making side by the traffickers. So what am I doing here today and why am I sharing all this with you? I'm Lena Kedriwal. I'm a photographer and an installation artist who stumbled into a red light district in her journey while she was photographing her city, Calcutta. It was an experience which didn't leave me and it still haunts me and it's become the main base of all my artwork since then. I launched the missing public artworks in my endeavor to engage the public on the issue of sex trafficking because of my years of work in that space and friends who worked, NGOs who worked there, we realized that the public, which is the biggest stakeholder in the issue of trafficking, was far away from all the conversations as demand takers. I created these public artworks, which were launched at the India Art Fair. They are black silhouettes of girls. They stand against the sky like black holes into which millions of girls disappear from the face of the earth. And this was done with the main intention to create awareness because we realized the basic premise to stop trafficking would be awareness. And our motto is, why wait for a girl to get trafficked to save her? So in this whole public engagement, before the silhouettes have gone out, now we have a massive school program, and we've had so many children do the stencil around the country. We have 5,000 of them. And in my other endeavor to engage the public, we created a game for a cause. I'd like to, I'd like to trade a few. A short review for you. Well, no, I don't know. We're not going to have time to finish the whole video, but it's fine, we all move because the time is up. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. The time is up. Thank you.